Welcome back to the American Muscle Car Museum here in Melbourne, Florida. Today we have a break in the rain and we've got out this 1990 Chevrolet Beretta Indianapolis 500 pace car. This is a pretty popular car for Chevrolet. A lot of them were out on the roads, but now it's kind of a rare sight. Over the model's lifetime, over 800,000 Berettas were made. For 1990, they had nine different colors and as well as two different Indianapolis 500 pace car colors. The more common of the two was a turquoise. They sold about 3,100 of those. And the less common option was this yellow one here with just over 1,500 sold. All the pace cars used at the track by the Indianapolis 500 were actually convertibles. They had five cars, two were 3.1 liter engines, which this one has with 140 horsepower. The ones that were actually on the track and used at speed were 3.4 liters that had their power outputs bumped up to over 200. So a lot of times cars are modified for the track use and this was no exception. The convertibles were originally planned to be sold to the public. However, by cutting the roof off, a couple problems came into play and they were never actually sold to the public. Chevrolet went as far as to take deposits on the cars. Um, they advertised them in marketing material, even gave them an RPO code. So they really meant to build them, but it just never came to be. All the cars sold that were Indianapolis 500 pace cars to the public were the coupes that you see here. As I said, it's got the 3.1 V6. It's got a three-speed automatic transmission. On the outside, you see it's got the Indianapolis 500 decals, the Beretta on the windshield, the pink Indy on the side. The turquoise cars also had a similar livery. Up top here, we have a removable glass tinted sunroof. If you don't want to remove it, you can just crack it and vent it. And it is tinted, so it's nice to get a view of the sun without getting cooked by it. As with most pace cars, it's very well optioned. It's got power windows, power locks, power steering, air conditioning, cruise control, which you can adjust on the steering wheel, very easy to use. On the inside, the seats also have the yellow Indy in the headrest. You can see the yellow on the seat backs and on the seat bases. They have a paint match wheel, 16 inch aluminum rim. Comes with a 205, 55, 16 Goodyear Eagle GT Plus 4 tire. As with all cars in the collection, it is maintained in running and driving condition. In November of 2018, we had new rear brake drums and shoes. And more recently, in September 2020, we did a new fuel pump, new fuel strainer, and new fuel filter. So everything's in running and driving condition. All power windows, lights, air conditioning, stereo, everything works and is in great condition. Why are we selling it? Well, the museum has an affinity for low mileage cars, especially those with less than 100 miles. And while 3,800 miles is incredibly low, especially for a 90 Beretta, the museum was able to find a 22 mile example that we added to the collection, so we're passing this one on to hopefully another excited collector. So if you're interested, head on over to carsandbids.com, check out the listing there. We've uploaded all the records, documentation, tons of photos in addition to this video, so you can bid confidently knowing that you're getting a great example of a 1990 Chevrolet Beretta Indianapolis 500 pace car. Any questions or concerns, check the listing, check our website at americamusclecarmuseum.com, and as always, thanks for watching.